Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Capricorn, you are up. So this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or if you're a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Capricorn in their chart, this is for you as well. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Capricorn in your chart or you're not dealing with anybody that has Capricorn in their chart, there may be messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please leave comments, subscribe to my channel, as well as like my video. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign and your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign. Um, the only one that, way that you can get your rising sign, which is your um, ascendant sign, is that you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all four of that information, <clears throat> you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury. Keep in mind um, that the cards that I use in my videos have already been shuffled. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any of these cards, you can go to the description box of the video as well. Um, it would have a list of the cards that I use as well as the Cafe Astrology link if you're interested in looking up your birth chart. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Just want to also say thank you to all my new, um, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my supporters that have been supporting me from the beginning. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you're interested in booking a reading, you can uh, email me at goddessqueenjustme23. My readings are $25 each, and that's for a 20 to 30 minute reading. Again, that's for 20 uh $25 for a 20 to 30 minute reading. If you didn't get my email address, it's in the description box of my videos, as well as the about me of my section of my channel. Um, so let's go ahead and cut the cards. Uh, like I was saying, the cards have already been shuffled and we're just going to cut them on camera. Also, these readings are uh, uh, vice versa readings as well. And I do have my music in the background. Oh, look, a card that was already flipped over. So I'm going to take this. So it's basically saying worth the wait. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So Capricorns, y'all are going through something where it's your ancestors, your higher self, um, or you know that it's worth the wait. Something's getting ready to take place. There could be something that somebody's been waiting for something and it has been the worth the wait. And now the timing is perfect in the, in the universe. Your higher self and God is telling you that it's coming to you. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back. <clears throat> in here if it shows up again then we know it's meant for it to be there so let me shuffle these on camera okay so that's done sh shuffling <clears throat> Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this again is going to be for oh, one more card, one more deck. These deck, this deck is a newer deck, so I'm not familiar with all cards, so I probably have to get the box, the the book to read from it to get clarity of something. So again, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or if you are a cross watcher dealing with somebody that has strong Capricorn in their chart. I thought the car, the camera had cut off by itself. So let's see if we're going to have the recurring thing that usually happens with Capricorns. I swear, I swear Capricorns, y'all readings be the most interesting readings uh, when it comes from me doing y'all readings. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Um,
the overall energy that we have is the four of cups. And when the four of cups comes out, this is about somebody wanting to seize some type of opportunity. Um, this is about somebody, um, Feeling so in the past, Capricorn, you are either cross watcher, uh, felt like you missed some type of opportunity. You were feeling some type of disconnection as far as, like I said, um, you not making, uh, you know, not seizing something. It could have been a love offer, a job opportunity, or just you making a change within yourself. Okay. Is what I'm getting from this. But now some of you Capricorns are wanting to, um, now go for that opportunity that you felt that you missed. Um, something in the past, because this is also, if you see, it's like she's looking down, but there's a cup up here. It's in the past too. Um, somebody's reminiscing about the past. Somebody's feeling like that something that happened in the past was a missed opportunity to them. This is also, there is a set of you Capricorns that are still clinging on to the past that um, is causing you to miss out on some type of benefit or is you missing out on some type of opportunity as far as a job opportunity or either a love opportunity. Um, this is also some of y'all Capricorns are dealing with a third party situation. Possibly there is three different women or three different men that you can choose from or there is just overall a love triangle that you're dealing with and somebody is trying to make a decision on which one is them. But at the same time, they want to, um, you know, some of y'all are willing to not make a decision because you're still um, more um, on yourself. You're like, but who am I trying to? Like, you have three options available to you, but at the same time, you're like, who's the one that's going to complete my cup? Who is the one that's going to overfill my cup as far as me investing in myself and then also is going to love me and give me that 100% too? So I'm just seeing there's, a lot of different situations that's going on as far as, you know, protecting your emotions, as far as making the decision, as far as you just making the overall um, choice that's going to be more emotionally. So this is what how I see this. When the three, the four cups comes out, I also see it as physically, mentally, spiritually, and then you gaining the clarity of everything. Like you getting the, your ancestors, everybody is giving you that knowledge. So I'm just seeing that you're just trying to find somebody that's going to overall balance you. And then also you basically healing the, um, your, yourself and gaining the inner wisdom within yourself. Okay. Is that what I'm getting Capricorn? Ooh, that was a lot, but I just felt that that needs to be said for a reason. Um, but so, the next card that we have is the full card. And when the full card comes out, um, this is when it's reversed. This is about somebody being very uh, foolish as far as being reckless, as well as being a little bit irresponsible. Um, you could possibly be dealing with somebody that has strong air in their chart, which is um, Aquarius. Libra or Gemini is finding you as being somebody that's very irresponsible or Capricorn, vice versa. You are finding that this person is being very irresponsible. Um, this is also about somebody being very closed minded. So like I was saying, if somebody is uh, clinging on to the past, um, you are being very closed minded and you're missing out on some opportunities that the universe is trying to give to you. Um, there is also, like I was saying, some of y'all that are no longer wanting to pay the full. So that's the reason why you're going to seize the opportunity that you felt that you missed in the past. So this could be a job. This could be some type of new beginning that you felt that could have was some type of a delay or there could have been just you not choosing this person as far as let's say if it was a third party situation somebody is no longer wanting to play the fool and they're wanting to invest um in the relation uh, in a relationship um the reason why i say that because the next card that we have is the knight of pentacles and this is capricorn yourself virgo our tours, somebody is wanting to give some type of offer. Um, in the past, they could have been more on the selfish side. Um, the one that was bored, uh, the one that was being more ir irresponsible and unreliable. Um, this person now is wanting to give some type of offer. Um, they could possibly also been very slow moving Capricorn or they're feeling that you were very slow moving when it came to giving some type of offer. Um, at this time, it just seeing when the night of Pinnacles also comes out, 
Um, this is about somebody just wanting to now take on that responsibility. They're wanting to um, be protective. They're coming in. I feel like there's uh, an earth sign that is um, that's be very protective when it comes to you, Capricorn or Capricorn. You're very protective when it comes to an earth sign is what I'm getting from this. Um, the next card that we have is the eight of swords. When the eight of swords is reversed, this is about somebody breaking from freedom. This is about somebody uh, releasing a certain situation. So there could possibly, like I said, be an air sign that you are Capricorn wanting to release yourself from. Um, this is also, there could possibly be somebody that is getting released from prison is also what I'm getting from this too. Um, um, Capricorn, I don't know if you have a friend or family member that somebody's getting released from prison. Um, this is also about somebody was keeping somebody stuck. Somebody was not making a decision. Somebody was not making a choice. Um, the eight of swords is more about somebody restricting their self as well as somebody feeling stuck. Um, there could have been a lot of mental blockage as far as fears, um, our overall attachments. Um, and now, like I said, that's the reason why that person is missing. They felt like they were, they're missing some type of opportunity. Uh, Capricorn, you could have protected was one person that fought for this relationship a lot are cat cross watchers you could have fought for this relationship a lot as well as well had as made yourself feel a little bit get guarded um just seeing somebody is trying to protect something as well um but when the seven of wands comes out this is about rivalry this is about somebody um was being in some type of competition let's say if there was somebody that had um three different choices um capricorn you were feeling like this person put you in some type of cop in some type of competition um are they put you in, you put them in some type of competition is what I'm getting from this too. Um, this is also about you gaining the, the courage in the past. Let's say if this was an earth sign that was in the past that was not gaining the courage, um, they were not moving forward. Um, they could have been more about their self as well as being a little bit more selfish is what I'm getting. There could have been also some insecurities that this person was battling within their self. Um, but overall, there could have been also a little bit of jealousy that took place. Um, I don't know, Capricorn, are you a little bit jealous of an, of an, an earth sign? Um OK, or there could possibly be an air sign that is jealous of an earth sign is what I'm getting from this, too. Um, there is also the chariot card, which is cancer, which is reverse. Um, when the chariot card is reversed, this is about bad luck. This is also about somebody rushing into certain decisions. So Capricorns, there could have been some of you that rushed into a decision as far as with an air sign. Um, you invested your emotions into this person. And now, like I said, you're feeling like this was more of a karmatic uh relationship and now your karma it was like your karma was playing and now you're wanting to protect yourself you're no longer wanting to be uh set in the uh, mental conflict that you were in now you're wanting to release yourself from that um person and this is what i'm getting from this and now um so there is some of you capricorns that are wanting to cut yourself away from somebody that has air in their chart or a possible cancer is what i'm getting from this too um, but this is also about uh, destiny not being off because whenever on the destiny, meaning destiny is not, the timing is off is what I'm getting about this. When the chariot is reversed, this is also about difficulties and changes um, and setbacks. So when it's upright, this is about movement. This is about destiny. This is about a new adventure as well as, you know, just being overall having good karma. This is also the twin flame uh, card. So let's say if this is a twin flame relationship, somebody is feeling like they um, have been over protecting a relationship a little bit more than the other person. They were more of the one that was investing in a relationship. So I don't know if this is you Capricorn or this is how an earth sign feels or somebody that has cancer, uh, a cancer that's in their chart cancer in their chart um but somebody is no longer wanting to keep their self stuck nobody is wanting to somebody is not wanting to play the fool anymore somebody's wanting to invest in a relationship they're possibly somebody from an earth sign that's in their past capricorn you're wanting to go to this earth sign or an earth sign is wanting to come back um after they had some mental conflict is what i'm getting um and then like i said y'all cycle was not moving forward so let's keep going Okay, so there possibly is a, um, a a fire sign, Capricorn, that you're wanting to cut yourself away from. So fire is is Aries, um, Leo, and then Sagittarius. Um, this person possibly also has air in their chart. 
um, this person is no longer or you're no longer wanting to uh, commit to um, this relationship. This was more of a karmatic relationship. This person you f could have felt or they felt that you was being somebody that was very manipulative as well as being very bitter. Um, this person could have been a very a lot a very judgmental when it came to you um, as well as this is just this person was a pretender. So I'm just seeing that it was like about false love because the. Um, when the queen, I mean, when the, the, the full card is reversed, this is about, like I was saying, foolish, just being reckless. Um, this person, you could have had strong fire, um, passion when it came to this person. But at the same time, it was just like a, a slow moving, um, it was, it was very slow moving. Um, the relationship is very, was very slow moving and it caught, and you still, you want to release yourself from it is what I'm getting from this too. Um, Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune, when the Wheel of Fortune comes out, this is also uh, fire. So this, again, strong fire, Aries, uh, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, if this earth sign is coming back from your past, this person possibly has fire in their chart as well. Um, but this is also about a brand new beginning. This is about you, um, you know, destiny taking place. This is also about you taking action. So like I was saying, if you are going wanting to seize some type of opportunity, I see that you're getting ready to take action. Somebody is going to get on their horse. Um, they're now wanting to come in and invest in their relationship emotionally. Um, if in the past they were not doing that or they had some type of mental conflict that was keeping them stuck, um, this person now is wanting to express exactly how much they really feel about you. So this is a, a the Knight of Cups. This is also Scorpio. Cancer or Pisces, um, somebody's wanting to now. Um, in the past, like I said, it, let's say if this person was not investing, they were more about their self. Um, the Four of Pentacles is also about the material happiness. So this person could have been more about the money. Um, somebody is dealing with somebody that is a um, and uh, uh, a Cancer that is more there just for the money is what I'm getting. Capricorn. If somebody has strong cancer in their chart, they're just there for the money. Um, but this is also, let's say if this is somebody that was from your past, um, this person was still holding on to some type of connection. Um, they still felt, um, you know, you there spiritually, even though if they were not physically there, um, they still wanted to hold on to the connection. So I'm just getting this. So they're, they possibly were guarding um, you. Let's say if there was any... Um, if let's say if communication was off, I'm just seeing that this person was more trying to protect you, Capricorn, um, than our uh, cross watcher. They were trying to protect um, how they really felt about you. Possibly also they could have been um, hiding back how they really felt about you. Um, when the four of pentacles also comes out, um, this is about um, a good investment. So somebody is about to have some type of um Financial gain, um, possibly uh, some good luck is going to be taking place and it's going to cause you to feel a little bit more abundant um, is what I'm getting from this because somebody is getting ready to go through a brand new cycle. Um, so let's say if this was a cancer that was in the past, um, this person was being more uh, deceptive. They were being more, um, uh, you know, sneaky. Um, you felt like this person had hidden motives is what I was getting Capricorn or this Capricorn. Um, this cancer is feeling like you have more hidden motives when it comes to the relationship that you're in with them. When the five of swords is reversed, this is about somebody wanting to ask you for some type of forgiveness. So Capricorn, you could be dealing with in a twin flame situation um, that somebody that has cancer or earth or fire in their chart that you're wanting them to give you some type of forgiveness or this is vice versa is what I'm getting from this too. Um, but this is also about somebody releasing their ego. So if they were more on the egotistical side, I'm just seeing Capricorn, you're just being more, you know, you're not wanting to control things is what I'm getting. And you know that it caused you not to be able to move forward. If you were the one that was guarded with your heart and you were being more stingy with your money, it caused you to be in mental conflict. And now you truly love this person and you wanted to invest in a relationship with this person. You saw a brand new beginning with this person, but at the same time, you caused this person to be very bitter, very um, disorganized or 
they felt like you were just very manipulative in a situation. Um, and then um, now, like I said, you are no longer wanting to be that fool. You're wanting to go invest. And now you're wanting to now Capricorn go seize um, an opportunity that you felt that you missed out on. OK, and that could be somebody that's coming back from your past is what I'm getting from this. OK, so let me sit these cards back out. pregnancy so there could be a pregnancy that's going to be taking place um so the birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world somebody could possibly also find out that somebody got somebody pregnant while they were out being reckless um they could have possibly was sleeping with a lot of different people because when the queen of wands is reversed this is also about somebody that is very promiscuous so i'm just seeing somebody possibly could have got somebody pregnant while they were being promiscuous is what i'm getting um and now it's going to cause a brand new cycle a baby is going to be brought into this world because of this situation is what i'm getting from this too um heal healing healed and healer so some of y'all also are healers and you don't know it some of you are going to be going to people and asking for them to help you with healing um if you feel that you have um bad juju or bad karma or somebody you possibly need to reach out to somebody that gives some type of herbs that can give you some type of herbs that help you heal this is also uh, about you just using uh also stones and crystals they're saying they can also heal you too healing energy surrounds you in this situation so a lot of y'all are protected with your ancestors as well um, a lot of y'all um, also feel a lot of energy is what I'm getting to. So a lot of y'all could be a very sensitive because y'all are feeling other people's energy and it's causing you to be a little bit sensitive to marriage. So there is going to be somebody that is looking to give some type of commitment, Capricorn. If this is somebody that you uh, felt that you lost in some type of opportunity with, I'm seeing that that's possibly the reason why you're wanting to, to propose to this person or give them a more a uh, bigger commitment if you were not the one that was doing this our cross watchers that is what i'm getting there possibly could be somebody that is going to be ending a marriage with somebody that has um that is a cancer or uh, uh gemini aquarius or libra or fire is what i'm seeing somebody could be disconnecting from one of those those signs um you're going to be uh there could be a divorce that's going to be taking place trust so if this is somebody that's coming back from your past, Capricorn, um, our cross watcher, they're wanting you to trust this situation. This is a this situation is calling for you to have faith. So you basically having faith, especially also if there is a pregnancy that was involved um, and when somebody was being reckless, they're saying just trust um, the situation. Um, trust yourself and understand that everything's done. They're saying that something, if the, a baby was involved in the situation, it's still a blessing is what they're saying. So you're going to have to trust um, the situation. Um, possibly there's some of y'all that cannot have kids is what they're telling me too. And there's a baby that's going to be coming in. If this is somebody that stepped out, um, this is going to help you um, trust the situation because it's going to help you be a mother um, or be a father is what they're saying. Okay. Release your ex. So I was saying somebody is going to be uh, releasing their ex. Um, somebody is also still clinging to the past situation as far as their ex. Um, this is like I was saying, also the four cups is also about um, uh, somebody clinging to the past, somebody not um, letting go of the past. So Capricorn, there could possibly be or there could possibly be a air sign or a fire sign that is not letting go of the past. Is what I'm getting from this too. Finances and career. Some of some of y'all, like I was saying, is gonna get a new opportunity as far as a brand new beginning when it comes to your finances. Um, some of y'all are gonna get a brand new uh job opportunity, or you're gonna be investing in some type of product project that's gonna help you be more abundant. Um, some of y'all are thinking about making career changes in the past. You could have been a little bit hesitant and it was not um, any movement when it came to a career change that you're wanting to do. And that's why I was saying that's the opportunity that you're wanting to seize. Um, and not necessarily doesn't have to be a love, a love situation. 
situation. It could be a job that you feel like you missed an opportunity in and now you're wanting to seize that. Um, some of y'all also, if this person was somebody that you were dealing with that was a cancer um, or had fire um, in their chart, they had... Um, they had were having financial issues. Um, they could have been a little bit more uh, codependent on you when it came to finances, Capricorn, or this could have been vice versa. Financial issues are at factor in your love life right now. So some of y'all, they're telling y'all that y'all are um, needing to invest your money a little bit properly and not be um, reckless with your money. Is that's what I'm saying? Some of y'all are being reckless with your money because when the night of uh, this is also about somebody being generous. So some of y'all are very uh, reckless when it comes to um, how you give your money to other people is what I'm hearing from this too. Guidance. Um, so some of y'all were not following your intuition. Some of y'all were not trusting yourself, which caused you to be in a situation where it caused you to feel like you um, are in um a bad situation as well as being a little bit over uh, irresponsible is what I'm getting. And now you're unmotivated because you were not finding, you were not following the, your guidance within yourself as well as your higher, your, um, the people that you see as, you know, God, the universe, they're also telling me that you were getting a lot of synchronicities and a lot of y'all are not paying attention to the signs. Um, some of y'all are going to start getting synchronicities or y'all have been getting the synchronicities. And this is the reason why your cycle is about to move forward. You've been more trusting in yourself. And now, like I was saying, you're no longer wanting to be that fool. You're now wanting to invest in something as far as yourself, as well as invest in a, a commitment because you can see the brand new beginning. You can see um, the, the the brand new beginning. You can see the the new cycle. You can see the the fulfilling um you can you can see the good karma in the in the change that you have made as far as you trusting your intuition is what I'm getting from this. So this is also letting you know that you have support from your ancestors as well as, you know, your higher self. Um, you are getting the signs and just keep following the direction and what your higher self and your intuition is leading you to. OK. Emotions. So some of y'all, like I was saying, was not being very truthful when it came to how you really felt about somebody Capricorn or this could be cross watcher and it caused you to be caused this person to move away from you. Um, some of y'all are no longer wanting to invest in a relationship, like I said, as far as with a cancer or somebody that has strong fire or, or, or air, an air in their chart. You're no longer wanting to invest in a relationship with that person. Um, this is also, like I said, you releasing any energy as far as any emotions that's still tied to your ex. Release that energy is what I'm getting. Um, but this is also you just basically expressing yourself. This is also 11, which is twin flame, which is also coming on top of the chariot card, which is the twin flame uh, of card as well. Um, so this is also you just knowing that if this is your twin flame or somebody that is your life partner, you finding that balance within yourself made you realize that you really, truly had feelings for this person. And now you're wanting to move forward and go off after that opportunity that you felt that you missed out at, um, in the past. So hopefully this resonates. If it does resonate, please leave comments, subscribe to my channel. And I want to say thank you and y'all have a great day.